Our today's subject is Introduction to ISO 27001. Due to, the, due to growing information security risks, organizations must continually monitor and effectively manage the security of their computing infrastructure. Further, organizations must ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the information assets. ISO 27001-2005 is a time-proven international standards of best practices published by the International Organization for Standardization that is called a ISO. It is the International Organization for Standardization which is a worldwide federation of national standard bodies. It is for establishing, maintaining and improving security programs for all organizations. The official purpose for the issuance of ISO standards is to facilitate world trade through standardization. ISO 27000 is a family of standards help organization to keep information asset secure. This family of standards will help your organization manage the security of assets or information entrusted to you by third parties. If you go to see the structure of 27000 series, you can find the below structure like 27000 fundamentals and vocabulary where 27001 is Information Security Management System, ISMS. And ISO 27001 based Information Security Management System it is a set of integrated process that govern the managing of management of security program policies and procedures. ISO 27002 is a code of practices for information security management. 27003 is a implementation guidance and 27004 is a matrix and measurement. ISO 27005 saying risk management whereas ISO 27006 is the guidelines on ISMS accreditations. The ISO management system. What is ISO management system? If you can see the below picture, you can come to know what is the ISO management system. Here it is showing ISO 27001 and 2005 Information Security Management System. ISO 31000 is a Risk Management. ISO 22301 is a Business Continuity Management. ISO 9001-2008 is a Quality Management System. And ISO 20001-2011 is a Service Management, which is very important in the IT industries where ISO 9001 and is the quality management system where today in every corporate every company who is pro providing the products to us are ISO 9001 2008 that give the reputations of the company this is the benefit of the ISOs where they give a lot of um, benefits to the company reputations now what is ISO 27001 ISO 27001 is a global acceptance certification. As I told you, it is a it is based on the ISMS, that is the Information Security Management System, and it is a set of integrated process that govern the management of security program policy and procedures. It is managed security services, which achieve a lot and have a continuous benefit for implementation of any ISO 27000 certificate in the company organization that is why it's saying that ISO 27001 is a global acceptance certification and it's focused on ISMS information security management system ISO 27001 is the best known standard in the family ISO 27001 is a standard specification for requirements of an information security management system it is designed to ensure adequate security controls to protect information assets documenting ISMS while it is it is always designed to it is to make sure that the adequate security controls are there who is protecting the information assets who is documenting ISMS documenting of ISMS is very important in ISO 27001 because it is documenting all the policies procedures ISO 27001 has adopted a process approach it means that an organization need to identify and manage many activities 
in order to function effectively. This ISO 27001 they having a two parts, part one and part two. If you are seeing part one is a code of practice for information security management and part two it is a best practice guidance, recommendation for confidentiality, integrity and availability. Part 2 is a specification for information security management. If you can see this is the information where we have to go with CIA that is confidentiality, integrity and availability. This is the all these are uh, these informations is everywhere in software, hardware, communication in all types because they are recommended for CIA. I said actually I said 27001 it is an investment in the company future because your data, your informations are always secure when you go with the ISO 27001. These, if you design and implement the ISO messages, is a, it is a very significant undertaking for security program managers because ISO 27001 is a multi-layer security management standards. Organization must design consistent policies and practice in order to apply the appropriate security controls required by ISOs 27002 as well and also to prove compliance per 27001 control objectives which will be telling you in the later part. That is why we are saying that it is an investment in the company's future. It is designed to give confidence to customer and interested parties that your data, your information is very much secure in, other, in our organization. It's the ISO 27001 can help small, medium and large business in any sector because it keep your information and asset very much secure. Yes, we can say that no single formula can guarantee 100% security. There is need for a set of benchmark or standards to help ensure an adequate level of security is attained, resources are used efficiently and the best security practices are adapted. A brief history of ISO 27001. What is the history of ISO 27001? ISO 27001 is derived from BS 7799 part 1 in 1999. This BS 7799 part 2 was revised in B by BSI in 2002 explicitly incorporating Deming's plan to check act cycle process that is called a PDCA cycle process concept and was adapted by ISO oblique IEC as ISO IEC 27001 in 2005. It was extensively revised in 2013 as well bringing it into line with the other ISO certified management systems standards and dropping the PDCA concepts which you will see in the later part. Now. If we are saying we are going to review your ISO requirements or is which will determine the relevance of this subject whether you are requiring ISO 27001 in your organization or in your in your life or in your business or in your conditions where you are in the business we are going with the sum of the questions 